Hi everybody, this is Carrie from Tambella Arts and today we are doing the letter G. Huzzah! Now G really is for gorgeous and we'll be using my um, quilling, colourful quilling booklet. So what we're going to be doing is making the outline of our G, which is this one here. And what you want to do is you'll grab your piece of parchment paper and then we're going to basically quickly outline our letter G. There we go. So we have our outline. Next, you'll want to grab your cardstock that you're working with. So I'm working with American Crafts cardstock which has this beautiful texture on one side and it's um, smooth on the other. So I want the textured side to be facing up. So what I'm doing is I'm flipping over my, my cardstock and I'm taking my trace and I'm flipping my trace over so that I'm going to push my trace onto my cardstock and then we're outlining as we go. And that gives us our outline. Okay, for our next step, we're going to be cutting this shape out. So you could use your scissors here. I like to use a scalpel. I just find it easier to use my scalpel when I'm uh, working with this type of outline, especially on the curves. And I am going to use a little ruler here just to do my straight lines. Okay. and there's our letter G now if you're like me and you've had a couple of little sharp edges you might want to just go around and just tidy that up a little bit just a touch I'm just going to take off that edge there now that we've got our outline we're going to start creating the outer edge of our letter and I'm having the uh, textured edge facing out. What you can do here is actually score and fold. See how I haven't cut that all the way? Yep, and then I'm going to start shaping this for the internal part. It is easier to do internals of your letters first. So I'm going to use my tweezers and you're just lightly dipping that section into your glue, getting any excess glue off and then we're going to adhere it into place like so. Beautiful. Okay. Score that one, and then I'm going to make the round shape. Going to about there. 
And now we're trying to get our strip as close to the edge as we can without going over the edge. Perfect. All right, there's our letter G. I'm going to let him dry now. Always remember that you want to check that your letter isn't sticking to your work surface because you are working with glue right to the edge. So it doesn't hurt to just move it around every now and in a while to make sure that it's not sticking. Okay, I've actually just let this go dry for a little while and you can see here that I've got a little bit of overhang on this part here. So you can just take your scissors and very carefully just nip that section off. And then we're just looking to tighten up any areas like so. And that's how we create our letter G. And we'll be moving on to fill it with colour. Like so. That's our next step. Thanks for watching, guys.